I'm Kate Swatridge, I'm a co-founder of Food Up Front, which is an urban food growing network based in South London. We aim to encourage as many people as possible to grow their own food in whatever outdoor space they've got, whether it's just a front garden, balcony, uh, or even just a window so it's possible to grow something edible in a container, and a lot of people don't seem to realise that. Also, it's not actually that hard to have a go. We're encouraging as many people to just try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter, have another go. Um, we provide our members with a starter kit which consists of a container that you can grow food in, a bag of compost and some seeds to get going, some rocket uh, spinach or lettuce seeds. They're all really easy to grow, you get a result quite quickly um, and we provide simple instructions on how to, how to grow those crops and also we've got a network of volunteers called, that we call street reps who live locally uh, across South London and they will help uh, the Food Up Front members that live in their area, in their neighbourhood, to sow their seeds initially and then they'll answer any questions that they've got as they, as they proceed with how often should I water, how do I harvest these, are they ready to be harvested yet, as well as um, taking steps together to, to learning how to grow other crops like tomatoes and beans and potatoes and all kinds of things that you can grow in containers in really small spaces. So um, today we've got the Food Up Front Street Rep induction which is uh, where we induct our brand new street reps. We've got 20 people coming who are keen to help people in their local area. What we're going to do is have uh, some small group sessions. We're going to have them learning how to grow and look after the starter kit crops, the spinach, the rocket and the lettuce, so that they're totally up to speed with helping um, their members. Um, we're also going to be taking the basic kind of uh, ad do the, doing the administration, taking their contact details, getting them plotted on our food up front map. Um, giving them an opportunity to have a cup of tea together and, and talk to one another and get to know each other as well as um, as just having some presentations so that they know how the Food Up Front network works. But if you put this in now and let it flower, then it will, these will produce little bulbs and they will go and then you'll have loads more. Right, you don't, I always you don't want to get a flower. No, don't cut, if you want more, then leave the flowers. Too. And they're so pretty as well. It's just yeah? And you can eat the flowers too, so. Mm, very good. light onto the container as possible, as much light into the seeds and seedlings as possible. Obviously there's, with, with seeds and salads and herbs, because there's not much of a root there, you're probably wasting that half of it. Um, there are, you know, so-called rules about the depth of seeds, so three times the width of the seed is how deep the seed should be in the soil, but you might have guessed by now I don't, don't take any notice of that. Um, do you want to take over here and go over the other bits and, po bits and pieces before you can you know, have a go at them yourselves? Well, we've got this here. That's one that we did before. It's a bit dry, so they're not going to happen. But you can see the, the trick with the um, chicken wire over the top, which stops the cats and squirrels uh, digging. Um, and also in the winter, enabling you to plant earlier, you can tuck plastic around that. So you've got a cold frame, effectively. Which is um, just a bit of fun, really. Tetra packs, which are recyclable, but they're just as recyclable after you've used them for a couple of years. And they're nice and deep, so the roots never get strained by the pot, they go down. Um, somebody told me last time, I grew tomatoes in these um, about five years ago, um, using a reservoir, so I had about four tomato plants growing up in streams. Um, and a reservoir in the middle and a soft little material going from the reservoir to the bottom of the bottom of the pack. The wind is there, watering the plant food into the root here. This is a variation on that theme, that's a catch pack with just two holes, one on the side, one on the bottom of that. So you pull that up and water on the plant food and then turn it upside down. And if this is inside or somewhere dry, you go away for two weeks and this is just gently water. Leeks, which is a good winter crop, it makes a good ground cover. It's just about to go to seed, so if you want lots of them, then let, let them go to seed. You can use the whole thing raw, um, or you can saute it and put it in. It's just beautiful wild garlic. And um, these are violets, which again, the leaves are edible as 
salad. Um, and here's some, some of the compost I sieved earlier, which the, the good thing about that is it makes a very fine uh, compost at the top here, which you put over dry once you've seeded it in the really damp compost. And then the seeds have no problem in coming up. This compost can get a bit claggy and a bit bound together if you water it too much. Uh, I'm just sieving some soil. Let's put some carrots in. Yeah. Well, but I thought I might take yes. advantage yeah. of the sieve while I've got it because I don't have one at home. <laughs> um, yeah, there is oak leaf salad as well. Some some members might get oak. I just read about it in um, Lambeth Life newspaper a couple of weeks ago. Never heard about it before. Thanks. No. So it's the first I'd heard about it before I come along and see see what's going on. I don't know what it's too much. Yeah, 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 grab it. What do you think we should do? What have you got there? What's the salad? So we want the salad around the edges. Oh, in the middle there. We want the salad around the edges. 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 We want the salad around if they've never done anything before, they, they think that they should wait until the leaves are massive and then they should start picking. But it's encouraging them to pick as much as possible and as often as possible so that they keep coming back and they get and the plants last for longer. So today, yeah, we've just been learning about what Food Up Front is, we've been meeting other people, what we can do as street reps and just getting really motivated really. You have a table like this, or what's on table with four legs and it's, you keep that in a sunny space for your seeds. A you can put a kind of cover over it before you do play. Um, you can also put each leg in a little which means that the slugs won't ever manage to discover the table. So. Where is your one? It's I just got it last week. Um, it's behind my house. And it's, it's literally right two minutes walk from my door. <laughs> I have well actually I already know about planting stuff but what um, I've had a big allotment and a garden before however what I learned about food up front is that it's all about friends as well as you know planting stuff so it's more about it you don't have to be perfect you don't actually need to know an awful lot because the seed wants to grow so you just give it enough of something and it's going to grow and um, and that's what I learned so it's all about friends and that what I think the best thing not the best thing but a really good thing is that um, we can have street parties and so I'm going to arrange a street party so that's going to be great yeah it was really interesting today to see the uh the different street reps, the different people coming together and actually swapping uh, the information that they already had. I wasn't involved in the growing session, um, but I think there was a lot of sharing of information there and I think we're going to see a lot more of that. To join Food Up Front as a member, if you want help with growing or you just want to get involved in the network, then uh, you can visit our website www.foodupfront.org or you can find us on Project Dirt. Um, and we'll send you an, uh, a membership form and We'll take it from there. If you want to be a street rep, similarly go to our website or find us on Project Dirt and we'd love to have you.